Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to reset display settings on Windows 10. So it is going to be a very easy one. So let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do here is to first ensure that we have the latest update on our display driver. So to update our display driver, you want to go to your Windows at the bottom left of your screen and you just need to type in display manager. So I'm just going to type in display, the uh, device manager. Sorry, it is. It's actually device manager here. So just click on it. And from here, you want to go to display adapters section. So when we actually expand this one, you will see the display adapter that you currently have on your machine. So if you only have Intel on your machine, it means that you're using the current or built-in driver or display adapter on your PC. But for example, you have AMD, Radeon, or the most uh, more advanced stuff. So you, you're currently using your built or your added graphics driver here. So for us to update this one, just right click on your display adapter. And here, just click on update driver. And here, you just, if the, you have two things, you you could either search automatically for drivers online or you could browse your computer. So if you don't want to go to the hassle of actually searching your uh, browser or download it manually, just choose the search automatically for drivers online and that will uh, find the best driver for your display adapter here and that will basically install it for you here. So as you can see, the best drivers for your device is already installed since I already have it. So just click on close once you're done and close all of these tabs here. Now the next thing that you want to do is you want to right click on your desktop here. Just right click on it and here you want to go to display settings. Under display settings, we want to change a few stuff here on our display. So first thing is you want to go to the scale and layout. So first is you want to ensure that you're actually using the 100% which is the recommended scale or size for your PC. And here you just want to click on advanced scaling settings. In the advanced scaling settings, you want to make sure that you let Windows try to fix apps so they, they're not blurry. Option here is actually enabled. So uh, so that you, uh, you will be able to be spared with the blurry applications so that they will be clear. I'll make sure that you have this option enabled. So once you've enabled that, we want to go to our advanced settings next. So here, when we actually scroll down at the very bottom, you see the advanced display settings. Just click on it. And from here, you'll be able to edit your display settings. So if you have multiple monitors on your PC, as you can see right now, I actually have three monitors on my PC. So you just need to choose the one that you want to reset. So for example, I'm just, I want to reset this one that's already chosen here. As you can see, I also have the different information about my uh, monitor here. And also we have this display and other properties for display one. So it's actually the one that we actually want to change here. But before we actually change this one, we want to go ahead, uh, go to refresh rate first. So for refresh rate, you want to ensure that you're actually using the refresh rate that's actually set for your monitor because sometimes not choosing the correct refresh rate is gonna make the quality of the videos or even for your games will not be that of great quality. So there will be a drop on FES and you will be like there's subtle changes if you updated updated to the correct refresh rate here. As you can see I only have one here but if I actually actually change to another display here you'll be able to see the different refresh rates if you want. But yeah I'm just gonna switch over to the other one here. And yeah, make sure you uh, choose the correct refresh rate for your display. And here you want to just click on display adapter properties again. And from here, you want to go and click on properties. And from here, you want to go to driver. In the driver section, the only thing that we want to do here is we want to actually just click on the rollback driver option. So if you made any updates on your uh, current uh, driver, or display adapter, it's going to roll back anything that you've installed. So once you click on it, it's going to actually remove all of those. And uh, here it's going to ask you to your package rollback. So here, uh, are you sure you would like to roll back to previous installed drivers? And here while you're rolling back, it's going to ask those questions. And yeah, you should just answer those and you could go ahead and just click on yes. And you should be able to roll back your updates.
So once you've rolled back your updates, you go want to go ahead and just click on the update driver option here. And just uh, same again, you want to click on the search automatic for drivers online. And I would search the drivers, appropriate drivers for your display adapter again and just wait for it to finish and just click on no or close. So once you're done, you should be able to see a difference on your PC. It should be a uh, reset uh, if that's the case here. So yeah. So another thing that we could do here to reset our, or fix our display on Windows 10 is you want to actually just go back here. Is when we go here in our display resolution, the thing that you want to ensure also here is the display resolution. Sometimes by default, I'm not sure why it is also happening on other PC, but it's also happening on my PC sometimes, especially if there are any updates from Windows. So sometimes my display resolution is being changed to another one that is not actually recommended. So for example, it's going to be changed to 800 by 600, which is a lot. Uh, not decent at the least it's gonna make my pc or graphics really blurry and it's really annoying so here you just want to make sure that you're actually using the recommended display resolution resolution here so yeah so once you've changed your display resolutions if you're using other uh, monitors on your pc you just want to select the monitor that you want to change and as you can see right now the display resolution i've already selected the recommended one but you can see there's a lot more here and make sure that you use the recommended here and just switch over to your other um display here and make sure that you choose the correct one and that's about it so hopefully that was able to help you on your problem and that was able to reset your display settings on Windows 10. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.